Hey guys, it's Melissa Merrill here at Let's Get You Organized. I haven't put out a video in a second, so I'm happy to be back here on YouTube and thank you so much for following me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you get notified whenever I put out new videos. Hopefully that will be many more soon here to come. And I do want to also remind you that I came out with my book on Amazon, Pivoting with Purpose, The Hamster Wheel, The Rat Race, and Other Career Myths Holding You Back. It's 99 cents for the Kindle version, $12 for the paperback, and I'm sure you are going to love it. So make sure that you grab that at bit.ly slash pivoting book. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. So I am all about mindset hacks when it comes to growing your business, growing, scaling, hiring, and taking over your little corner of the world. So as you're growing your professional home organization empire, it is so important to keep three things in mind. So Number one, living in abundance and not fear. I have so many women come to me and tell me that they're worried about the competition in their market, that since all of these new shows coming out, like the home edit and various shows on HGTV that they've always had, um, that you know organization is becoming so trendy and that they're worried that women in their area are going to just start hopping on the bandwagon, start opening businesses left and right, and that they are going to be put out of business. This is a big no-no. You have to stay in your own lane. You have to stay focused on your own prize and you've got to cut out the rest of the noise. So what I love to do when thinking about my competition is really looking at the actual demographic info. So here in San Diego, California, when I had my home organization business, let's get you organized for almost nine years, I was always looking at, you know, just Instagram and Yelp and kind of seeing, okay, who else is out there? Who has more reviews than I do or who has more followers than I do? And that was getting me absolutely nowhere when I really thought about it. And I was like, okay, there's 3.3 million people here in San Diego County. And there's maybe like 300 home organizers, which to some people that might be in more rural areas of the country here in the United States, that might go make you go, oh my gosh, 300 people that do what I do. But guess what? They don't do what you do. Only you do what you do like you do it, right? So you have a special gift. You have a purpose here in this lifetime. You are meant to serve the gift to others, right? I love this quote by Paulo Picasso. I actually have it hanging right over there and it's a reminder to me every single day. The meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. So that being said, look at your numbers, how many people live in your area, and then how many organizers are there? 300 organizers to 3.3 million people. Um, I'm pretty sure I did a really good job for nine years in being able to serve those customers and to really make it happen here in San Diego. So don't get it twisted. Don't get scared about your competition. Make sure that you're focusing on what you do best and that you are going to absolutely shine in the organizing work that you do. So that's tip number one. Now, tip number two is really making sure that you have some sort of support in what you're doing. Now, I don't mean that your parents have to approve of what you're doing. Maybe they want you to have a quote unquote, you know, rat race job or real job or corporate job, um, you know, a nine to five here in corporate America. And, and that's really common. Um, maybe you have friends that don't understand what you're doing. Hey, maybe you uh, left your corporate job and you went and had a baby and you decided you actually don't wanna go back to that life anymore and so you wanted to start your own home organization. Or maybe you wanted just a side hustle to make you happier in those times that you weren't so happy in your corporate job and you needed something to really keep you going and keep you shining outside of work and keep you on your A-game and motivated. Um, and that's all fine, but make sure that you have some sort of support in what you're doing. So whether that's a therapist, a um, healer of some kind, you know, obviously I'm here in San Diego and people are a little more hippy dippy here. They have, you know, hypnotherapists and meditation people and Reiki people and whatever works for you, as long as you have some sort of support network. So whether that's your spouse, whether that's um, a best friend, whether that's other professional organizers, I always say that your network is your net worth. And here in San Diego, I had my own professional home organization business. Plus in the past few years, pre-pandemic, I actually had my own networking um, and events kind of side hustle, if you will. So that was a really great way for me to meet other people in the community, meet other pro organizers, meet other women that maybe I could actually recruit and hire someday, which I did. I ended up hiring four of them. Um, and so really just making sure that you have that support, you have that community, you have that network, 
And if that's somebody that you're paying, like a you know therapist, that's totally fine too, but just make sure that you have that support. So number one is don't get lost in the competition. Number two is have that support network. Number three is going to be staying up to date on anything and everything having to do with mindset. So are you listening to podcasts daily on your walks with the dog around the block or the walks with the baby around the block? Are you listening to audiobooks maybe while you're at the gym walking on the treadmill? Are you purchasing new business books? Are you listening to those podcasts, listening to those audiobooks, reading those actual books? reading news stories, you know, maybe you like to follow the New York Times or the Huffington Post, maybe you're on LinkedIn and you're looking at cool articles about just the economy and um, new businesses starting and entrepreneurship statistics, whatever it is for you that keeps you motivated and keeps you going, keeps you inspired to keep doing what you do is going to be key. So I have a ton of books that I love to read. I can give you some recommendations if you send me a quick message or just comment below and I'm happy to send you my list of recommendations for business books when you're just getting started. Also podcasts, same thing. I love me a good podcast. I am constantly listening to podcasts with my AirPods when I'm cleaning the house or when I'm just running errands, you know, in the car and instead of the radio, I listen to podcasts. Um, so happy to give you some recommendations there, but just make sure that you are staying inspired, staying motivated and feeding your brain with the things that are going to be positive and keep you inspired and keeping going. So those are my tips for today. Make sure that you subscribe so that you get notified whenever I put out new videos and I'm happy that you're here. Thanks.